Welcome, everyone. I'm Laura Tanji, University Librarian. Thank you for joining us for today's exciting event, Zot Trivia, Test Your UCI Knowledge. I'd like to start today's program with a land acknowledgement of our presence on the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territory of the Ahashiman and Tongva peoples. The libraries are so happy to be part of Stay at Homecoming, celebrating alumni, UCI parents, and anteaters. The libraries serve as an intellectual hub where students and faculty come together to discover and create knowledge. And so we are thrilled to host this Zot Trivia event that is based on information that can be found in the library's university archives, which preserves UCI history and records. Beginning with the founding of UCI in 1965, the university archives hold material that document the planning and the growth of the campus, the development of academic and administrative programs and services, and the work of faculty, student life, and community relations. The university archives, this is a part of the special collections and archives department, which is full of rare tre treasures and unique materials like books and manuscripts and photographs and maps. You can learn more by visiting the link in the chat. Ant Eater warning, some of our questions in Zot Trivia will be more challenging than others, but we encourage you to have fun and you may even learn a few new facts about UCI. Now our game moderator was supposed to be Crystal Tribbett and she's having a little technical difficulties. She is the library's curator for Orange County and regional history and research librarian for Orange County. And she may join us later, but she is the expert on UCI history. And in her place, I will uh, explain how today's game will be played. And I'll have the honor of introducing our wonderful Anteater alumni panel. So joining me to provide stories, helpful clues, and more is our esteemed alumni panel and here they will be. Our first panelist is Michelle Malari, class of 2021 and soon to be UCI alumna. If she could raise, uh, wave her hand, she is the current ASUCI student body president. We're honored to have you, Michelle. Next, representing our young alumni classes, we invite Niobe Duke, class of 2018, to join us. She is currently UCI's program coordinator at the Center for Black Cultures, Resources, and Research. Thank you, Niobe. Now for someone most of you know, join me in welcoming Jeff Minhas. In addition to representing the class of 2004, he is also the executive director at the UCI Alumni Association. And we welcome another very familiar face, Ramin Talesh, class of 1989. Ramin is the Associate Vice Chancellor of UCI Student Life and Leadership and the Dean of Students. And next, we invite Gerald Parham, representing the class of 1977. He is currently UCI's Director of Program Development at UCI Athletics. Welcome, Gerald. And last but certainly not least, we invite Jill Halvix, class of 1981 and UCI retiree to join us. So here's our alumni panel. And now for the trivia to begin. There are a number of ways you can participate in today's trivia game. The easiest is to pull out your smartphone and open the camera app. Hover over the QR code that's on the screen and it will open a link when prompted. Please enter your username to get started. Now, if you don't want to use your phone, you can open a new web browser and enter the URL that's listed on the screen in the chat. And if you don't want to officially play with us, no problem. You can follow along as we play. And once you enter your username, you will follow the prompts on your screen when the trivia begins. Select your answer choice and see your name appear on the leaderboard. And ranking is based not just only on the correct answers, but also how quickly you respond. The winner of today's trivia wins bragging rights 
and a special limited edition certificate. Now, if you have any questions or comments or stories as we play, we encourage you to use the discussion chat feature at the bottom of our screen. And today, we have the UCI Library's Special Collections and Archives team in the audience as well, and they are ready to answer any questions related to UCI. Now, if you have a question for one of our panelists or myself, add your questions in the Q&A at the bottom of the screen. And if we have time, we'll get to the questions at the end of the trivia. So now we're about to begin. Let's play. First question. What was the original name of Aldrich Park? Now, while you're playing, we're uh, encouraging our, um, oh, and here are the options. Uh, you can select Great Park, Central Park, Ant Eater Oasis, Irvine Circle. And we'll give you a few seconds to submit your response as to which answer it is. Meanwhile, if any of the panelists want to jump in with um, their memories, Well, uh, in Aldridge Park has been the home to a lot of great things, including, have you ever watched the UCI Quidditch team practice in Aldridge Park? That's a phenomenal site. My Did you know we had a Quidditch team? I was going to say my, my resident advisor my first year was actually the captain of our Quidditch team, too. So I do know what you're talking about, Jeff. <laughs> Did he or she also know magic? Because that, that would be amazing. Now, is it time to share the correct answer yet or not? Well, while we're waiting, we used to have, uh, well, we didn't used to, we had during Black History Month, a uh, soul food picnic. So we invited USC, Long Beach, and San Diego up. We had a intramural basketball tournament, uh, a picnic park where the BSU at the time cooked all the food from fried chicken, greens, potato salad, traditional soul food kind of things. It ended up with a concert in Crawford Hall with Cool in the Gang, for those who may <laughs> remember back in the day that group. So it was a good time. I'd forgotten about that, Gerald. That's a great memory. Thanks for bringing that up. I've heard of a lot of famous performers coming to UCI, but never I didn't know Cool in the Gang came. That's amazing. <laughs> It, it would it really was if you can figure out how they fit that many people in Crawford. <laughs> Some other notables, Kanye West, Kelly Clarkson, um, Wyclef Jean, Blink 182. Wait, they performed in the park? Not in the park necessarily. Most of those were at the brand actually, but got it. <clears throat> Michelle should know Lupe Fiasco, Kendrick Lamar. They're yeah, Kendrick of... Lamar. We did have Tone Loc perform in Aldridge Park at Ways Goose. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> there is a memory. There were some older performers too, but probably no one uh, would remember them. <laughs> Back when we only had Crawford Hall. Well, when you have a park that used to be named Anteater o Oasis, we have to have lots of fun memories. Ooh, did you uh -oh. just give it did a I? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I also I love never knew. Tweet. I never knew it was called that. I've never heard it called that. So I would have not gotten this question correct, obviously. I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know if that's, that's the right, right answer. answer. Maybe Jeff is just uh, Jeff's just oh, playing with man. it. I did see the Killers in the Bren Center. That was a great concert. Well, actually, I think um, that we the I should be sharing what the correct answer was. 
Um, the correct okay. answer was Central Park, hmm. and it was UCI's original master plan for the nucleus. And it was supposed to include a 300 foot tall bell tower known as the Centrum. But unfortunately, the Centrum was never built. So now we move on to our second question. Who played a central role in planning and building the Irvine campus? And there will be a screen that will show the options that you can select. So the options are Jack Peltison, Will, William Pereira, Joan Irvine Smith, or Daniel G. Aldrich. And sent, so now we're going to wait and let our uh, audience submit their their answers. And <clears throat> if any of the panelists want to share about their memories or experience of seeing the planning and building of the campus. Please do so. There was nothing here. <laughs> uh, there's nothing here. I mean, what, what people now know is the marketplace. I mean, that was across the street. That was a, a field. In fact, when I was in Mesa Court, we used to have a T-shirt that said, Irvine ain't no cow country because Brahma Bull used to roam across the street. It was um, quite a story as an RA trying to tell our students who would get have a rough time during a quarter that would want to go over and cow tip if they had a rough time with finals. So as a small campus, you know, driving to Santa Ana to find a jack in the box because there was no place to get any kind of fast food for. So to see it grow from really nothing being out there to what it is now is really pretty phenomenal. Yeah, you know, another uh, story I heard not not far away down the 133 where that is now there was the was it a wild animal park or something and yeah, yeah. 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 Lion, lion country Bruce safari mm -hmm. what was that gerald lion country Saf lion country lion country safari yep that's right off yeah yep. it's now where irvine well now it's apartments and townhomes but it used to be irvine um meadows after it was lion country safari I was Gerald out, right? And was running around the campus area. Oh, that could be. I don't know if we got to campus, but there was a, a wild animal. I think it was a lion that got loose somewhere. In. I'm with Gerald, though. I remember when there was nothing across the street. And then when I became a student in the late 70s, um, the bookstore was over there in Bank of America, a, a bar. I don't know how I knew that, but there was a bar right. over there, <laughs> Don Vito's. Spritz, Spritz, Spritz Garden. Spritz Garden, and it became Don Vito's. Yep. Yep. Hey. Bank of America, the bookstore was across the street. Yep. It looks like where the post office is. Yeah. Looks like here is the correct answer out of the options William Pereira. And he was commissioned by UCI and the Irvine Company to be the master architect of both UCI and the Irvine Ranch. He envisioned the city of Irvine as a learning community in which town and gown would be linked. And Pereira often spoke of his vision for the Irvine campus as the focal point for a city of intellect. Mm -hmm. Other well-known Pereira designs include the original three buildings of the Los Angeles County Museum of Art, the Hollywood Film Museum, and the Transamerica Pyramid in San Francisco. So let's see. the next question is, how many quadrangles orbit the ring mall? And the options are four quadrangles, seven quadrangles, 10 quadrangles, or six quadrangles. I was a humanities major. This is math. I'm out. So <laughs> carry on, people. Same. But Jill, you've been around Ring Road so many times. You you know this answer. <sighs> but I'm not saying because yeah. <laughs> Just holding on to that knowledge, mm -hmm. Jill. Jill, do you remember when they filmed Planet of the Apes on campus? Vaguely, yes. Were you around here? Roddy McDowell and the cast. Right, the cast. Like, well, you know, I'm so of... I'm so old that I don't know if I just know the story or I was really there. 
but I have things in my head. So. Okay. <laughs> Something notable it's, it's a, about it's the a design. True story. Speaking it of is. Aldrich Park and the design and the quadrangles, mm -hmm. um, in Aldrich Park, the walkways weren't paved in the first year. Um, Correct. The nature of UCI, they allowed the students to kind of carve out the paths that they would go through the park and then paved mm -hmm. later. One of the lesser known but really interesting stories with the design. That's one of my favorites. It was it, it was it was tough walking through. I had my freshman year, I had, had gotten an injury playing intramural sports and had to walk from Sierra in Mesa Court on crutches across campus to computer science and engineering for a statistics mm -hmm. class at eight o'clock in the morning. Which doesn't sound bad, but my oldest brother, who was here doing his master's, had the same statistics class and a car and wouldn't give me a ride. <laughs> That's a good one. Brotherly, brotherly love, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, panel. I wonder which brother. My older brother, Bill. Well, panel. Thomas hadn't gotten down here yet. Here's the answer to the question: How many quadrangles orbit the ring mall? Six. Can you believe it? I think the quadrangle part was a was a trick here. And here's a map, as you can see, of the six different divisions radiating from the center. And now we're ready for our next question. How many Hollywood films have been recorded on campus? All right, that's a tough one. And the options for that question are 12, 5, 9, or 23. Well, clearly, I only, I only know of one. So, <laughs> so, so, yeah. Ocean's Eleven was one of them, right? Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Planet of the Apes. <clears throat> and these are films that we know about that were filmed on right. campus. Right. I'm just going out there and saying 23 sounds high. So there. Ooh. Someone said poltergeist. Ooh. I think that's right too. Wow. I think that's a rumor mm -hmm. of that. Right. Yeah, I was gone for a number of years, so I, I couldn't tell you. You have stumped the oldest alumni. It looks like the answer is on our screen, and it is now, uh, there were five, five films. That's interesting. And I think the next screen will show which ones. Ah, Conquest of the Planet of the Apes, Silent Mute Movie, Poltergeist, as you mentioned, The Creator, and Ocean's Eleven. I love that iconic picture. Mm -hmm. So the next question, panelists, are which of these rare books is housed in UCI libraries? <laughs> and the options are Shakespeare's First Folio, Lord of the Rings First Edition by J.R.R. Tolkien, Two Years Before the Mast, First Edition by Richard Henry Dana, or the Guangyun, compiled in the year 601. Obviously, I did not spend enough time in the library. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming back, Lorelai, I swear I'm coming back. I'm going I'm to do my research. Um, You're welcome. Yeah, Jill, <laughs> you know, Jill, alumni association members have access to not only our amazing libraries on campus, but every UC campus. No matter where you are in California, you can find access to one of our amazing libraries. Oh, I like that. I'm, I'm going to tell some friends of mine and about you, that. You're a life member. I am a life member, Jeff. Yes, indeed. And I encourage everyone Jill, you to just... be a life member. Jill, you just queued up Jeff so perfectly for that one. <laughs> We've worked together a little bit. Like it was planned. Huh? And yet it was not. 
Well, looks like the answer is now wow. showing. It is the Shakespeare's first folio. Uh, this folio was donated by a UCI alum, Patrick Hanratty, in 1986. This edition was published in 1623 and is one of about only 240 copies that exist. It's quite something. All right, so our next question is, which of the following U.S. presidents have visited UCI? And the options are Lyndon B. Johnson and Ronald Reagan, John F. Kennedy and Barack Obama, Gerald Ford and Ronald Reagan, uh, Lyndon B. Johnson and Barack Obama. So as not to give the answer away, I'll say something in regards to the previous question, the New Swan Shakespeare Festival, another amazing um, summertime event series put on by um, the Claire Trevor School of the Arts and um, another feather in the cap of Shakespeare expertise at UCI. It's amazing performances. They really are. I think we've all missed being able to be on campus and attend the, the different events. So something like the Shakespeare coming back will be very welcome. Here. And now it looks like the answer is showing on the screen. Lyndon B. Johnson in June 20th, 1964 and Barack Obama, June 14th, 2014. How exciting. And our next question, how many Nobel laureates does UCI have? And the options are seven, three, nine, or one. Again, reflecting on the last question, forgive me, uh, we, there's a new construction going on in the corner of campus and Jamboree, and it's going to be called the Presidential Gateway, the UCI Presidential Gateway, in honor of Lyndon Johnson's visit in 1964 to commemorate the campus in that area, and there will be a new Irvine, U UCI Health, Irvine Newport Medical Center, as well as the Institute Museum for California Art, uh, Nature Preserve, Walkways, it's going to be amazing. Um, in light of the president's visit in 1964. We have had other presidents on campus too. Because uh, I know Bill Clinton was here, Jimmy Carter. Was yeah, past there. presidents. Yeah. I don't know. Past presidents, yeah. It's like the answer is three. F. Sherwood, F. F. Sherwood Roland, chemistry, 1995, Frederick Rhinus, Physics, 1995, and Erwin A. Rose, Chemistry, 2004. Uh, Frederick Rhinus won the Nobel Prize in Physics for his co-detection of the neutrino with Clyde Cowan. F. Sherwood Rowland, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry with Mario Molina and Paul Kretzen for research on the depletion of the Earth's ozone layer. And Erwin Ernie Rose, um, got his Nobel Prize along with Aaron Sichenover and Avram Hershko uh, for the discovery of ubiquitin mediated protein degradation. In more simpler terms, it discovered how cells can regulate the presence of a certain protein by marking unwanted proteins with a polypeptide ubiquitin. So the next question is, what was the runner up in the official UCI mascot election. And the options for that are Clippers, none of these, Dolphins, or Mariners. I think I know this one. Thought Lakers are going to be up there. I guess not. No, I thought the Cowboys running. 
<laughs> I'm so well. I'm so I glad Ann Eater's won though. These other ones are boring. Uh, you know, the Ann Eater, the Ant -Eater is so unique. <laughs> What would the mascot of none of these be? Well, Just there you go, curious. me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, in fact, none of these. <laughs> and here's the official news when the anteater was selected as our mascot, and we're so proud of that. Okay. Zot, zot, zot. So the next question will be David Benioff, 99 MFA, is the co creator and showrunner of which television show? Hmm. Now the options are Game of Thrones, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, Breaking Bad, or Mad Men. Another TV uh, related trivia, a UCI alumnus, former baseball player, Tyler Hecklin, plays Superman on TV on the CW. And he just got another Superman show, Lois and Clark. He's um, oh. so cool to have Superman be UCI alumnus. I like that. I did the new one. Yeah, I didn't either. I, I think also didn't. Um... I don't know like if y'all have watched this, but the sweet life of Zach and Cody. Um, I think the when they were on like the cruise or something, or like the overseas one. Um, I think the security guard also was an alum of UCI. There you go. Yeah. The correct answer is Game of Thrones. Uh, since 2011, it has won 59 Emmy Prizes. While at UCI, Benioff completed the 25th hour, his thesis and first published novel. It later became a feature film for which he wrote the screenplay. The master's degree in fiction writing, Benioff has also written screenplays for X-Men Origins, Wolverine, The Kite Runner, Troy, and other films. I just finished the book wow. this week. The final book, the final book. <laughs> so the next question is, who is Peter? Spelled P-E-T-R. And the options are Peter the Anteater's pet dog, an interpretation of Peter the Anteater, UCI recycling program, trash talkers mascot, or Chancellor Aldrich's pet bird's name. And the correct pronunciation is Petter in this case. Petter. That helped. Thanks. I'm trying to do it on the phone. <laughs> you, just, you just want to win. I know. I definitely have missed some. I hope there's another question. Who is Swagman? <laughs> so, oh boy, that's a good one. The correct <laughs> answer is an interpretation of Peter the Anteater. Now, the original Peter character was anonymous. Um, it was a bi revealed to be Cosms, a member of the class of 2019. And it began in September of 2018. And it's intended to represent an interpretation of Peter that is now unique to the student body and has been helping bring students together. Uh, the search for Peter stickers like a campus scavenger hunt and the creator has given out stickers at specific locations for a short interval of time while in disguise, usually sporting a red beanie, blue gloves, black clothing and a neck warmer to conceal their face. So the next question is, what was Irvine Meadows? And the potential answers or 
selections are a trailer park for student housing, the original name of the land that UCI was built on, the first dorm, or a Woodstock-esque this festival held at Aldrich Park. I know, I know this, this one. one. Do you want to give the audience a hint? Mm. Is the pole locked? <laughs> no. Oh my gosh, there's 245 <laughs> things in the discussion forum. Oh my, I'm not watching that. I had a fr I had a friend that lived there. You had a friend that lived at Woodstock. And I think they used to have like a they used to have a peacock that would walk. They had a lot of chicken. The they had a lot of here. chickens there too. Is that Irvine Meadows was the UCI's first trailer and RV park. It was founded in 1973 and closed in July 2004. During UCI's early years, uh, the late 1960s and early 70s, the campus ran into a housing shortage. Uh, recall that the first students arrived to campus still under construction. So students slept in cars to avoid long commutes and a high rent. And so a student group called the Squatters Club proposed a trailer and RV park in 1972. And Irvine Meadows was located near the social sciences farm. Irvine Meadows was support, supposed to be temporary, uh, but turned out to be a popular housing alternative for students. And for years, a solution that limited uh, the student housing. And in 1979, Irvine Meadows West was an extension to the park. Um, so now we have our uh, final question. How many UCI chancellors have become president of the United, uh, sorry, of the University of California? <laughs> and the options are one, two, zero, or three. <clears throat> So Irvine Meadows were kind of like tiny homes before there were things like tiny homes in a show. So I would live. There. Oh, I would have lived there in a heartbeat. At, the, at, the, at those rates, Niobe knows. At those rates, those are good rates. Yep. <laughs> and now, as housing has continued to expand, in addition to branching out, it's moving up Mesa Court and mm -hmm. Middle Earth with towers, mm -hmm. beautiful new undergraduate housing facilities. The towers are so nice. I was jealous when I was on campus when they were being built. I have a graduation picture with one of the former presidents of the University of California, UCI chancellors, in my office. You're fancy, Rami. Right? Students stage the sit-in in Aldridge Park. OK, looks like we have our answer. The correct answer is two. Jack W. Peltison was UCI's second chancellor from 1974 to 1992. Uh, Mr. Peltison was appointed as UC president in 1992 and served for three years. He was the 16th president of the University of California. And Michael Drake was UCI's fifth chancellor from 2005 to 2014. He was appointed as UC president last year in July. He is the 21st president of the University of California. And with that, this is the end of our Zot Trivia Challenge. I want to thank the participants and our wonderful alumni panel for joining us. And I want to thank all of you for joining us today. We hope you will attend our upcoming events um, the next one, you had mentioned Shakespeare. Well, our next event is Fair Games, a Shakespeare birthday trivia challenge, which will be on the Bard's birthday on Friday, April 23rd at noon. You can learn more and register to attend using a link in the discussion forum. 
And if you would like to support the libraries and initiatives and public programs like this one, please consider becoming a member of the UCI Libraries Gateway Society. Please join me in a final thank you to our wonderful panelists, to the audience, and thank you all for coming and have a nice day. Mm -hmm. I know we have some time left. Can we take questions from the, are there questions in the discussion forum?